All right, Deegan goes one, two for second overall and uh, wins SMX second, second year, in year in a row. Yep, second year in a row. Going to invest 50000 in some Bitcoin. Is that what he's going to do? I don't know. Hopper asked him about oh, it in the press conference. He said he it. wants to buy another rental. He's got two he right now. He wants to buy another what? Rental property. Oh, he doesn't sure. want to buy a, a Lamborghini Aventador? He wants another car, too. Because he wants another supercar, but somebody forgot to tell him that an Audi R8 really isn't considered a supercar anymore? It is. He's got the V10 one, so he's okay. I mean... It's got you, the V10. It's a considered a supercar. I understand, but like, let's be real. It's, R8s it's, are considered a supercar. I, I get that, but I don't think of it in the same fucking category as like a McLaren or a Lamborghini. An R8 is a broke man's fucking supercar. Uh, I mean, cor- I'll never fucking Corvette. have one. I'll never have one. Look, I fucking love Audis, but an Audi R8 is not in the same league as a fucking Aventador or a fucking McLaren P1. Here you got taken in it already? Yeah, not shocking. He's what? fucking 18 year old kid. I don't know how fast a, he said. I don't know how fast he was actually going, but the guy rode him for 19 over, 17 over. But bro, like he's that. in an Audi with a fucking <laughs> V10. A of course. I said I said this to Cole in Denver last week. I was like that video that came out with on his channel with him and his brother riding in it, and it's making the the, the you know it's yeah, got the crackle the tune noses, and yeah. stuff. I said, dude, that is me, my brother, and anybody else I take for riding that car when that car does the does the flame tune and it's backfiring and Honestly, stuff man, i'm just like oh, if he wanted to be, if he, that? look bro if he would have wanted to be a real boss because he went with the just the simple white which it's clean white's clean obviously we know that easy wrap over he could have just gone with the plum crazy one real boss move actually you know what you should do if you really want to be a boss buy a rolls royce ghost and taunt the shit out of jet and be like yo i can buy a rolly too <laughs> uh i i don't think that'll happen until he's in the 450 class oh, i don't think so well i mean we'll see it in the summer of 2025 yeah. Because, so, you know, Hayden Deegan's going to the 450 in outdoors next year. No, he's not. Dude, he wins that Supercross title. He's he'll, going 450. He'll go for it 26. Nope. 26. He's pulling he'll a ride jet. 250, he'll ride 250 all next year. Disagree. And, and then he will ride, and then he'll go 450 in 26. Totally disagree. If he wins that Supercross title next year, which we kind of all think he's going to, barring yeah. anything crazy, he's going to pull a jet, and he's going to go to the 450 outdoors. Eh, I don't know about that. I think Dude, there's no there's nobody I don't care if it's somebody from the industry or not that can fucking tell me otherwise and get me to believe it until it happens that that's not the trajectory they're on he is going the jet trajectory he's if he wins the supercross title what does he gain from winning the outdoor title again nothing like probably, everybody probably already wants mil- it probably about a million fucking bucks to be honest with you you, you don't think him going to the 450 supercross class or 450 out, like outdoors is gonna have real nice bonuses along mm, with it no He'll be fine. He'll still be on 250 deal, and he's still gonna get good bonuses. But he won't do as he won't do as well in the 450s. We also didn't think gonna, Jet was going to He's gonna do great. Don't get me wrong. We also didn't think Deegan, Jet was going to go undefeated. By the way, Isaac Nelson designs Deacon Danger Zone here. He'll still do great, but I just don't think he's going to. Oh, I'm not saying he's gonna win. Yeah, I'm, but I'm telling you I'm right saying. now, if he wins the Supercross title, come West Coast. He's going to the fourth. Why do you think they're putting him on? Going to put him on the West Coast because the hype is with the West Coast. And so, if and he wins the West round, Coast, he has enough time to get ready for which he, would have, which he would have gone last year, yeah. had well, because of hype, and now not because he, of going outdoors because of hype. And now he has the hype again. And now, if he wins it, that's the last thing he has to win. <sighs> now he's won everything, kind of like a jet situation. You got nothing left to prove. Let's put it this way: that'll be a move that will surprise me. It wouldn't surprise if me because I think it's going to happen. If he goes four fifty outdoor next year, if he wins that two fifty title, now if he doesn't win the Supercross title, then I agree with you. I don't think he goes four. 50 until 2026 i don't think he does till 26 anyway 2025 outdoors mostly because i think it'll be a money move for him i think he's already making enough money i don't think that's i think it's i think he's gonna i think this is gonna be a jet lawrence situation where if he wins the supercross title he's gonna go into outdoors and go i got nothing left to prove i'm not gonna 100 say you're wrong but i'm gonna go this is coming from a guy who's not even hating deacon person but i'm but i'm gonna go on a 70 percent rant that i'm more correct that he stays in that 250 class. I'm looking at what he has to prove, and he's got nothing left to prove if he wins that Supercross title. <sighs> what is winning a 250 outdoor championship again? The only thing I would agree with you He'll, is if I there mean, w- a half a million bucks plus bonuses to win motos and overalls. I think with him, money which, is not the thing anymore. I think it is more about I'm dog slapping these kids, and he's a kid himself. I'm taking their souls and I'm ripping them out of their bodies, and they got nothing left to fucking give. Maybe. The only thing that I think would have given him a little more motivation because it would have been a build to a hype is if Lucas and Sasha were coming over next year instead of 2026. But because they're okay. not... I mean, that's fair. I mean, may, it, maybe. I don't know. I, I just I, I look at him and I look at the competitor that he is. And once again, for anybody out there, this is not me all of a sudden becoming a Hayden Deegan fan. It's just me, what I think of him. He's got... He doesn't... I think the money motivates him just like anybody else. But yeah. at a certain point... 
when you're already making money no matter what you do. Yeah. I mean, you're not, you're, no not wrong, you're not wrong there. I just look at it as like, okay, if he goes and wins outdoors, which again, I think as long as he makes it through Supercross healthy, whether he wins or loses, yeah. I think he will handily win outdoors next year. Yeah, okay. Handily. He's head and shoulders better than everybody else. Which is why I said, unless Luca and Sasha were here, he's got no competition. Beca- but I guess the real question... I guess that would be a really a really good thing here to see of like, okay, is it money backed or is it literally like I want to be the best? I think he wants to be the best. I think so. And I think he wants to beat the Lawrence's. I think so too. Which we'll get into that when that yeah, happens. But, but like that's a whole nother story. Yeah. I think that's, he wants to beat the hour, That's another hour of the show. Uh, <laughs> of you and me agreeing about the same fucking thing. Yeah, which no, 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 no. Yeah, we're not gonna talk yeah, about it. So anyway, um so yeah, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see. I just think it's going to happen, man. Now, this is all, once again, my opinion is based on him winning that West Coast title. He doesn't win it, which I think the West whatever, Coast... Are- whatever whatever coast of Supercross he rides, he's A, the favorite. He's going to be the and, favorite. And B, oh. highly likely to win, in my opinion. I think that... Barring something catastrophic happening. I think, as crazy as this is, I think he still needs to prove that he is consistently the fastest guy at a Supercross track. Hmm. Because he hasn't done that. And I know people will be like, well, he was a rookie in 2023 and he was hurt. And you're not wrong. Yeah. But at a certain point, he got into East Coast Supercross last year and that wrist wasn't bothering him anymore. Yep. And Tom was faster than him and there were, and you know, this and that. So, like, and I'm not saying he can't be, but he, you know, he's going to end up being on the same coast as RJ and Kitchen. Hold on. I got to go take a shit. No. You got to take a shit? Do you not get it? No. Did you not watch? Dude, in. Oh, was it fucking qualifying? He qualified number one. He gets on the podium for a thing. And the, I, don't, I don't remember who was interviewing him, but it was one of the girls. And she asked, like, hey, you know, whatever, ask a question. And he's like, look, I'll be honest. I got to take a huge dump. I got to go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what does that Just not? Just, like, walked off. What a fucking awesome thing, Why dude. Why does that not shock me? Dude, it's fucking Must awesome. Must be nice to be 18 and just say whatever I you gotta want. I got to take a dump, dude. I got to go. Um, huge shit. Huge yeah, shit. The West Coast, it's gonna, it's gonna probably be him and RJ and Levi, and of course he's gonna be the favorite. But I still think that he needs to prove, and I think he even needs to prove it to himself. There are times where last year he easily proved he was the fastest dude on a supercross track both coasts. Yeah. But then he'd follow up the next weekend and he'd have issues. So it's like I still think in supercross, which is crazy as that sounds, we all thought it'd be the other way. Oh, 100 percent. He still needs to prove it because this to me, even though this was a fucking hell of a season. Mad props. I got nothing bad to say about him. I don't think what five, he did. Five in out- for six. Yeah, like, I don't think what yeah. he did in outdoors in Super Motocross proves anything going into Supercross because he won SMX last year. Yeah, and then he got hurt, but he got hurt on his. He got hurt because of himself. Yeah. So it's like, I still think he needs to prove to a lot of people, but he's definitely going to be the favorite. Of course, he's going to be the favorite. Yeah. Like he's the defending fucking SMX champ, outdoor champ. Like he's Hayden Deegan, whatever. Yep. So. But no, uh, I, 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 I fully believe that's what's going to happen next year. I think right. it's a Jet trajectory. Okay. Uh, have you seen the side-by-side comparison to him and Jet? I There was somebody who put it out a couple rounds ago. He has the edge over Jet, which is weird to say. But That's also... Never mind. I'm not we'll go we'll see. Right. We'll, yeah, we'll see when he gets we on could also We can talk about competition. But but 250-wise... We could, we could, yeah. we could talk about competition. All right. We could talk about competition. Uh, 